going through, so he may be somewhere where there's no service, but I'll be. Any public comments or correspondence? I have a motion to approve the minutes of 422-19. Did everybody have a chance to read them? Yeah, there's something on there that I had it marked on the ones that are cut out down. Okay. Um, Do in 4.1, yep. the wording, there are only 17 kindergarten. There's something not worded right there. One classroom, one healthy classroom. But it's the way it's worded, it says coming in, which is two healthy classrooms. It's That's one. It should say. That's what it should say, yeah. one classroom. of what it would look like. So one was the full, they're very similar. The majority of the board, the new unified board, would have to agree to close the school, plus a positive vote from the town that would be impacted by the closure. The second one was the same, but had to be voted for two years consecutively. Yes. That didn't pass, thankfully. <laughs> and this, this is for two for years out anyway, right? This is two years right. out anyway. Yes. And, and that'll just be part of the articles now. Yeah. Okay. It was just the wording to have Article 4 the, the way people article. wanted it. Yeah. 
and it ended up being which bank? The first bank? The first, first so one. So not two consecutive years. No. Yeah. So in two years, if there's a vote, it goes to the your the new board and then the towns. Yes. yes. Okay. The new board has to have the majority to okay. be able to bring it to vote to that town. Yeah. And it's just that town. It's just that town. Okay. Yeah. So we that was sort of after much discussion and discussion that was the, the best consensus that we could all come up with you participating in our agreements so was a little bit of a departure where we were, but we all felt pretty good at the end. It really represents So is that everybody. an article that gets voted on? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be yeah, part of it. But the, the articles committee felt like the, not felt like, but felt that it was up to the new board to put the amendments and articles to vote, not to ourselves. We were just putting them as a recommendation, and then they'll decide. They might decide that nothing is being put out to vote and just the uh, budget, or they might decide to put the work uh, out. But I can't speak for the new board's mm -hmm. uh, uh, wishes. Um, and as far as I know, there is no, and probably think that might be more informed, but as, as my last meeting, Last Wednesday, there's no delay. There's no delay. There was no agreement, and there's no there's no delay. Did you say there, the, they, one of the conversations we had was about debt, though, or was it just no. about the school closure? Sorry, just school about closure. the school closure. Okay. Okay. School no. closure. Yeah, no, no debt. Can I ask questions? So yeah. is it is it two? Just because people ask and talk, yeah. is it two years? Like two school year, you have to go through to the next two school years, and then. So this is it calendar years. This won't take a, 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 this won't take effect. The the um, articles that we had already protected us for two years. Right. And so it said in two years you can't close any schools. Right. So this will start right after that. But pretty much, you know, once the the only way to, that we could change is by. The, board to vote on it. Right. So it is kind of a double protection, but we, we could honor it, you know, right in 2020, right? So all of this doesn't take effect until, until later. The adding a member at the board doesn't take effect until 2022. Okay. I'd yeah. say a school year. Yeah, school year. year. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Not calendar year. No calendar year, that's true. Thank you. And I don't have them electronically, or I would have read it to you. It's in the packet that I left out later. Yeah, yeah, I left my back in my card too. Um, any questions? I don't know. There's not much to, because we haven't met. So I don't know, what would the second meeting be this week, you were saying? Well, we if we didn't get everything done on that first meeting, because it feels like the first meeting is pretty much just reorganization. Yeah. Uh, so, okay. Don't want the possibility of having another meeting if we don't get our. Work and with that, done. you don't. Has it been? I didn't it's see it. it on the no, I can tell you what it's been. I have every Wednesday for the rest of my yes. life, pretty much. Yes, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Consistency is a good thing. It is. I'd rather it was. Yeah. But it was they still. Oh. Oh. You. There's an executive committee meeting this Thursday. Thursday. So yeah. Would no. it be mm -mm. Thursday? No, with it was. Um, let me just. Uh, Okay. Maybe it's just that we were talking at the executive committee about it. That's what I'm remembering, but I just had Wednesday, Wednesday. Yeah, four minutes. 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 Information here. Yeah, so this is May 22nd, and then the next one. Yeah, the next one is not until June 5th. So, May 22nd, we'll do a board organization, we'll do the budget. We'll do the amendments. It's just this a lot. So it's we had talked. In order to get the budget warned, right. all that has to I knew it was going to be a big one. I just yeah, so it's the, but we're not starting to meet until 6. So that's why we had said that it might need to be. So it's the budget, a, a agreement on putting the review and the, amend, the amendments and warning. Those two warnings need to go out okay. on the 22nd. 
And so the action for that meeting would be budget, articles of agreement, the, the amendments, and the, the annual report and approve the minutes of district organizational meeting. So the meeting where we all met, like right. at that town meeting, we would have approved those minutes. Um, okay. Any questions? And Lindy is right. This meeting is not scheduled to June. Well, I, I think we have June 5th. One the 20, oh, the 29th is the Washington Central carousel meeting or something. Yeah. About and the that's superintendent. What we were, so that's what, yeah. Okay. That's another one. Another Wednesday. Just playing on Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. So next is 3.3 3 is interim superintendent update. Yeah. We finally had the final you know, interviews. Mr. Sherman was part of the committee. We interviewed uh, last Thursday. It was our last uh, round of interviews, and we all agreed to bring forward two candidates that will go around May 23rd and visit the schools. And, and I know May, May 23rd is the function here, but they're going go around during the day, mm -hmm. and then they are being interviewed uh, by the executive committee and they will make a decision on Thursday night. So, I want to miss the but It's okay. Yeah. Any questions? The, the, the not, names are public. So you're not there now. this Thursday? The what? You're not at the executive committee meeting this Thursday? She's oh, yeah, not here. No, I'm not here. I'm going to miss the, no, there's this barbecue and harsh thing that I was saying, oh, I really want to go, but I'm not, I'll be at the executive committee meeting for, did you say the names are public? I knew we got them in an email, so. Uh, I am pretty sure the names are public now, but. Yeah, okay. the names are public. Because they, they that's had, that's they pretty had, public. Yeah, yeah they, had, they had to announce in their jobs and they're touring the school, so they had to put them out. So Deb, uh, Deb Taylor and um, Don. Don Van Nordstrom. I think not to say his last name, right? Yeah. I apologize. So. Is the you know and they both were interested in in an, and we were very clear that it's an interim position. We are you know, they they intention you know we don't know until it goes to the new board, but the intention is to have a full blown search with input from the community, input from from the teachers, and input from the leadership team, and start that in the fall so that we have ample time to find the superintendent and use this time to put you know. A, all the policies and the governance and put ourselves together during this time. Questions? Three point well, actually, can I ask just a process yes. question? Yeah. Is the executive committee going to select or are they going to? Have a recommendation the following week. They're going to have a recommendation. Okay. Right. We're going to. They're going to have a recommendation the following week to the full board, and the full board will uh, hire the new. We went back and forth if it should be the new board or the full board, but because the work is really being done by everybody by the by the full board, we felt like e either way it was the same, <laughs> the same people, the same intentions, the mm -hmm. same. Mission, so that was the decision we made for for process and to making it quicker and not adding another agenda item to the new unified board. And yeah. the the candidates that we're interviewing are also interviewing at other places, so there's not a lot of time for everybody to make that. Well, when I think that part of the discussion was essentially we're hiring staff at all the schools. Yeah. And the current boards are doing it because you've got openings, you've got to fill them. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, so, yes. So good. Gotcha. Um, 3.4. Yeah. This was a crazy idea, and I don't know how you guys feel about it, but the transition communication, we didn't know how to phrase it. So the thought was that I could type something, but if we could send a wish or a New begins to the new board from our board. So our board is dissolving, right? And send uh, a message to the new board from our board. But I don't know if that's too crazy or how you guys feel about it or just, you know, wishing them well or, you know, this is what's been important. I think the votes to us. are what mean. 
I don't, that sets, sets a new board, so yeah. I don't I don't think it's necessary. But well, I, mean, I think you you two are run, the ones running from this town, so I'm assuming you're getting elected. <laughs> There's not a lot of competition, <laughs> so yeah. I mean, and you guys kind of know mm -hmm. what our goals were. I think my thought was more about yeah, like more setting the tone. Right. So setting yeah. the tone, like we total, you know, we totally <laughs> support. It's not just the two of us, right? Like I, I yeah. know that you guys will always have our backs, and we all had got to know each other really well during this years. But like, uh, uh, I don't know, like uh, just a, I can't say the name in English, like a gesture mm -hmm. of uh, support of support, mm -hmm. you know, like. But but I don't know. That is just. Very much. Do you want to know from each, each one of us, or is no? I was thinking we could us? just do a sentence. I'm not thinking that we're going to write like two mm -hmm. paragraphs, but I didn't want to speak for everybody, and that was not something that we were. You know, it could be part of the minutes, or that's something that sounds too, you know, not us. But it that's totally fine too. I don't. It, I'd be totally fine saying something to the effect of thanks for being willing to carry on the work and good luck. Yeah. For me, yeah. I would stop short of saying support because I don't know mm -hmm. what's been proposed yet. Right. I might not support it. Yeah. Yeah. So, but so thanks for carrying it forward, and we wish you the best. <laughs> yeah, I, I was thinking, taking as far as saying, you know, like it's our, you know, three things that have been really important uh, to to us. I don't know. You know so I don't know. <laughs> or maybe not. I wouldn't want to say anything that was viewed yeah. as an attempt to influence. Okay. I think we so just acknowledge, acknowledge that, that um, the new board has stepped forward and is willing to do the work necessary to make our schools keep our schools strong. And thanks for you know, thanks for your willingness to to serve or something along that line. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then what were you thinking? We get like an Olympic torch and <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I was saying. It's just Here like you know, passing on our, you know, I don't know how to explain it. Ending here to, it's here, an here to, a, here to emotional feeling. I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> well, there was <laughs> so thanks. <laughs> that on the back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I had a conversation about this transition with somebody who was relaying what Harwood did um, when they moved to the transitional board. And they did like a little sort of open house thing when they accepted the audit. That was like the last mm -hmm. uh, oh, action of December. that board. Yeah. And they had like a, a little reception that was open to the public and they had a Scrapbook of you know when that board was formed. Mm -hmm. It was actually it was really a sweet. Uh, it was a really nice. sweet yeah, idea. It, and it was it was like a way to sort of like yeah. you know like this chapter is closed and right, yeah. like mm -hmm. this board is now like our work is officially done and yeah. and, yes. and the new board had had time at that point to um, have sort of gotten their legs under them as well. Yeah. So. Just, a, just yeah. a reflection yeah. of a conversation that I yeah, had. Yeah. Yeah. We're doing yeah. something similar. I don't know the, the details, but I know that because we haven't met again since the committee, but there on the 29th, there will be kind of a celebration. And but the, obviously, the new board wouldn't have had that much time to, to meet, but it'll be some kind of celebration of mm -hmm. this uh, period. And Bill has been uh, heading that, mm -hmm. that, that effort on the. But, but that's. Uh, I, I just offer it as there was something that sort of struck me as that was a really sweet way to do it. So yeah. um, I don't know if the timing works as well for us. I, okay. I don't have an opinion. But <laughs> yeah. One of those happenstance conversations. So, but so thank you for willing to serve in the new Washington Central Unified School District on behalf of our community. On behalf of our kids, yeah. uh, on behalf of our we wish you, yeah, we wish you the best. Things. We wish you the best of luck, or the best. Of, <laughs> <laughs> we wish you the best. We wish oh, you the best. Not going as we wish yeah. you the best. <laughs>
<laughs> we wish you the best. Good luck. Some of us are washing our hands of you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On behalf of, what did you say? The East Montpelier the, yeah. Board. East Montpelier Elementary School Board. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, we can okay. happy it up and say, you know, yeah. we're excited for the future or something like that. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Happy it up. We're hopeful for the future. I, I don't. Know. I think that script of when is perfect. Just as it is, we're good. Get your marketing <laughs> hat off. He's trying to help me. Okay. Did you, did you have that? Two. I yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, that. <laughs> okay. Administrator support. Uh, I don't know if there's any questions. Last month, I had told you I would be happy to share a monitoring report with you, but then the executive committee met and um, agreed to have this all done in the fall. So I will invite you all back in the fall to see <laughs> to see the numbers. But what I try to do in this month's report is kind of just recap the year, um, more anecdotally, if I can find it, in each of the areas in the um, implementation plan. I don't know if there's any questions or thoughts. I guess, uh, uh, from every, to me, everything looked well. I uh, you know, it's awesome. Like what we're doing, and it's really yeah, exciting. And this, you know, part of the multi tier support stuff like that is what I'm excited to for the new board. I don't think I have a really good, well, I read the balance assessment uh, system and the three points of data and stuff. I don't, um, triangulating the data. Yeah, do you want me to explain that? No, not, not <laughs> totally, but just like sort of what does so, that mean? Okay, <laughs> so. Um, as we are getting better with, with our assessment system, um, so what we used to do, it's almost like putting all your eggs in one basket. We'd only look at SBAC data, right? Because that's all we ever had. Before that, it was NECAP data. Um, and then we started having local assessments, which is the STAR 360 and the reading assessments that we use, the writing assessments. Mm -hmm. So we started bringing in other points of data to look at. And basically, triangulation means that you're, you're looking at at least three different pieces of data measuring the same type of skill, right? So that we don't say, oh, well, according to SBAC, this child is not where they need to be. You need to look at more than just that. Mm -hmm. So our conversations this year have been really, um, I, I find them quite exciting, mm -hmm. because we're looking at what the teachers see in the classroom and looking at what we're putting in Infinite Campus, you know, just the day to day. And we're comparing that to, um, what we're seeing in our, our assessments that we give every like two to three months. And then we're comparing that to the big. And I can actually pull up, and I will for you, because I want you to see our electronic data wall. Mm -hmm. It's very cool. So we, and it's all color coded. So we look at a child and we, we traffic light them, which we've been doing for years. And we might say, you know, this kid is yellow here, but they're green here. Why is that? What's going on? You know, what is it measuring here versus there? And so we're having, well, I feel like are much more meaningful conversations about a child and not just saying, oh, well, SBAC says that they're, you know, not making progress or, um, so, so what we did in the fall, um, is we get, and this went along with the goal setting because teachers set goals in the fall and I'm, I'm sad that the focus this year hasn't been on that because in this building it has been on that. Um, it just hasn't been at the yeah. bar level. Um, so I'm really hopeful that in the fall we can come back to that because our teachers have been doing this. Um, so we did we did some um, training with all of the teachers around what does triangulation mean? Why do you need to look at more than one data point? Um, and we've gotten well versed, I would say, in having those conversations um, at our kid talk sessions, which is the when we sit down as a, you know, every teacher who works with whatever set of kids and we go through each child and we talk about them. Um, and that's where the goal setting has come from also. So every time we give a new assessment or during a new assessment window, the teachers will look at all of that, set goals for the next window, you know, work on their instruction, work to move kids forward, then we'll come back, revisit it. Um, so that's kind of, in a nutshell, what triangulation is. 
And I'm gonna so, show you, but keep, keep yeah, talking. So, okay, so the last question with that was, so, so how does the trauma-informed practices that we have, we're doing now affected this, uh, you know, how we do the strangulation or kid talk, or how does it affect our assessments, yeah. our local assessments? Yeah. Has that been like? That's a really good question. So I feel like this year has been a really nice year of learning from our staff um, around trauma transformation, but we're not really, um, we're, we're soaking in and taking in a lot of information, but we're not, that would be a next step for next year. Um, like at the, at, I would say, especially in Michael's position and looking at behavioral data, we have a lot more of those conversations. Um, and so there's four teachers and myself who are, who are in the graduate class. We did on it, which wraps up Wednesday. Um, and then there's another cohort of teachers who Michael is a part of who works with Dave Melnick, who's been working with him for the last two years. Um, so in these small pockets, the conversations are happening. But our goal is to bring that back to the larger staff and have them part of these. But, you know, when we, you know, DCF is, is um, close contact of ours for yeah. a number of our kiddos. And so when we have cases like that and we have kids in trauma, it comes into the conversation, but we're not probably as purposeful as we need to be yet. That's definitely a next step. Thank you. I don't know if there's other. Oh, actually I did have, I mean, not on that section, but down below. Um, I was just like, so replacement for Julianne and Jensen. Alex, so she's not full time between the two? Mm -hmm. Really? A half a day, and it's oh. really tricky. Um, so she comes here on Wednesdays at lunch. Okay. Um, so instead, she'll be able to spend the whole day with us. Okay. Um, and then provide some services to kiddos. Okay. Cool. Which is um, a win win for her and for us. Yeah. 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 So does that give her a full time position yeah. at that point? But not a not a full time full, teacher. Right. But yes. But oh okay. So she will be working full time. Full time. Yeah. But half a day of her week will be okay. here. Yeah. Okay. yeah. But she she actually um, had approached me to say if it ever comes up, you know, I love to do that kind of work and I was like, Oh, that's good and then it just happened too. Yeah. Okay. Cool. And then uh, just a process question. Um, so I know, so you have two paras coming in for pre-K students. Yeah. How do you how do you identify that need? Is it just through the screening process? Um, or no, okay. no. So these kiddos are identified as soon as before your third birthday. You have to be identified. Um, it's okay. called Child Find, and um, it's our job to to know who lives in the community and who's growing up here before they even enter our school. So they, these are children who um, have been served through like intensive family-based services. So they're already getting services in their home or going to other places. They just hadn't turned three yet. Okay. So it's in the birth to three program. Okay. Um, so they're pretty intensive needs kiddos. Okay. So I'm gonna show you, this is just a visual and you don't need to see any no, names or anything, but basically you can, these are our, our recording windows. So that was September, um, like November, January, and then this will be the spring. So we look at and we color code and just kind of compare the, the, um, the three different measures to say, okay, yeah, this kiddo's green all the way across. Yeah. Their SBATCH score, their DRA score, teachers they're all you know that that's a good match and we'll um this one right here this student was in the yellow this star 360 said they were in the red so then we'll talk about that we'll maybe dig a little deeper into the star where did they get hung up what skills might they not have that maybe the aspect didn't measure um you know and so we'll look for any I'm trying to see if there's any that stand out we sometimes get some that might be one of each color, and that's like, okay, what happened? And maybe they had a really bad day. Mm -hmm. Taking the star 360, and we might re-administer it, and then it's, you know, where we think they should. So be. as you go across, mm -hmm. uh, is that by date or? So yeah. So here's here's the kiddo. Yeah. This is fall, mm -hmm. and this is spring. So okay. the other thing we look at over time, and this is where the goal setting has come. So this kiddo was in the green at the beginning of the year, and the um, May star shows them in the blue, which is actually exceeding expectations. So that's something to celebrate. Like they were where they should be and they've actually grown. Um, we might look at and say, 
Okay, this kiddo's been yellow and, oh, this is red. What's happened? Why are they not making progress? So the red there is not all red. Th then we have, we, we may have a kiddo who's just below Kiosos. grade level, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that child is most likely on an IEP with a lot of supports and services. But, so this is, this is what we've done. So that's reading, um, and we do the same. This is our math data, so it's the same, and we go through. Um, so that's that's how we're triangulating and having the conversations. And then how does that get represented to the parents? So parents get this information in a number of ways. Um, they get it at report cards for progress report time. Um, it's in Infinite Campus, and then once. And for the first time, uh, took the S back this yeah. spring, so then you get a, a report at the end of the year. Okay. Telling how she performed. Got anything, any other questions? A fiscal report. There really are no so we, we closed down um, before, right before April break with teachers and we're working on closing down the budgets. This is a huge task um, for central office because all of our um, systems are going away and new ones are coming on in our new district. Um, so they're working extra hard over there to close down our books. You will see, I'm assuming, at the June 17th meeting, um, the end of year. But it hasn't happened yet. Look, so it doesn't. This report doesn't look any different than last time we met. I don't know if there's any questions on it. So I'm sorry. Were we going to transfer funds or not yet? We're going to wait until June. Okay. I think everything is supposed to happen in June. June. Yeah, yeah, we're going to. We had that conversation with Phil, and we're going to wait until the council meeting. Okay. In June. All right. Thanks. Yeah. Once they because figure out the percentages. Then, yes. Yeah. And you'll know right where we're, like, everything will be closed. Yeah. Anything else for fiscal? Mm -hmm. uh, executive committee report. Mm -hmm. it, I think I pretty much told you everything. I don't know if you guys had a chance of reading the, the minutes from the executive committee, but. Yeah, pretty much it was the, the same, the, the, the interim in Mark Andrews, I think that you guys will know, we hired a consultant, Mark Andrews has been taking care of the process. We had uh, three interviews, we were a committee of 10, Mr. Sherman was part of that committee too, and um, yeah, we're in the process of having another executive committee meeting on Thursday, we'll be hiring, uh, we'll be recommending a, a candidate to the Washington Center Unified uh, to the full board. And um, we have scheduled a couple of carousels, uh, meetings. It's pretty much similar to what we just talked uh, about. So unless you guys have specific questions. There, there were, uh, in the minutes we had, uh, uh, Carrie had asked us questions, for example, of what, uh, uh, how do we know that it was just an interim? It was the, the, the lawyer, it, it was very clear on the language, so it's clear that it's just an interim contract that we're not okay, that it's fine, I Yeah, that is final, and so there's no uh, question uh, there. Uh, we have started to change uh, the, the, all of our accounts over mm -hmm. to the new unified uh, district, both on on healthcare, and, but that's been more of the transitional board, not the executive uh, committee. So I think we're in we're in good shape with doing all the steps to get us to where we need where we need to be. I'm looking at you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, did you guys have a chance to read the minutes in that? Or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So did you hear back? Probably not. It hasn't gone through. I'm guessing he's not in service. I think 5.1 needs to be tabled. I have nothing to recommend to you. Yeah, and, and I have nothing. 
We I approved it at the executive. I was going to say, I said that we have the executive, executive committee. Get the executive in yeah. minutes. It That's was, what I was just reading. There, yeah, there, there, there was, the, for most people, it was the same point. as the teachers. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. it's so we could just go ahead and do the That's same fine. thing. and Because he said we had, he didn't give me any information. So if somebody, if you have it in yeah. front, here, you can, it's right there, both. So, uh, could I have a motion? I would make a motion that we recommend that we approve the non bargaining contracts um, at an increase of 3.1 percent. That's for the non bargaining, non -bargaining, the non -bargaining administrators. And all others in the central office who are not administrators increased by 3.5 percent for the 2019-20 school year. You would not say central. You office. don't say central office, yeah. But just the other, the other, other non administrators, right? The other non right. All others. Oh, the school. Yeah, yeah, but oh, because it was okay. for so 3.1 percent yeah. increase for all non-bargaining administrators and 3.5. For, for all who are not administrators. Yes, yes, yeah. I mean, that's the same that. across the. Yeah, it's the same across, but yeah. But because we still do it by more. Okay. Second? I second. Yes, I second. All those. Any discussion? No. All those in favor of approving the motion as. Stated. Stated. Or do you want to read it? But you, you're good? Um, I think we have actually made sure um, it was pretty lengthy. Um, so, um, this will be a motion um, that we approve the non bargaining contract on an increase of 3.1% for the non bargaining administrators and those all who are non bargaining administrators 3.5%. For the school year 2019 20. Yeah. Thank you. Non bargaining non administrators. Yeah. What's the 3.5? Yeah. Non bargaining non administrators. Everybody good with that? Yeah. Yes. All those in favor of approving it, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any Board orders. Uh, I'll make a motion to approve the board orders for $48,168.71. Second. Any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of approving the board orders, can you please say aye? Aye. aye. <laughs> I think we can have future agenda if we're never seeing each other again. Yeah, but we have the carousel meeting. We, we still have the carousel meeting. Okay. Yeah. Can you yeah. we just start here. need to decide on yeah. the chance, the, what you're transferring to capital? Right. 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 Yeah. You'll have to see me two more times. Yeah. Sorry. Any? <laughs> yes. We could we could add a discussion about what you were talking about with acceleration. Could you? As well. It's a terrible week to go, but it is. <laughs> what is it is. Uh -huh. I will be back for graduation. But, <laughs> but they don't always think about their weeks very well. Well, well they don't think about their them. northern weeks. They're yeah, probably exactly. Out of They're out of school. <laughs> yeah. I, I ask that because it, it, in this cohort is only principals, so every principal is in the same situation. Mm -hmm. Like, no, oh. every, it, anyway. But, so I won't be there on the 17th. That's amazing. 
You won't, you won't be running across the parking lot in the field to make it to graduation <laughs> last well, year. Well, no, no. If you saw last year's, you know what I'm talking yes. about. Yes, yeah. she'll be sitting in a Japanese meditation yeah. garden with the koi. <laughs> it's the most beautiful building ever, yeah. and the work yeah. is amazing. The work is just some of the best ever. And yeah. thank you all for doing your part, and I know that was a long survey, but thank you very but much. Yes. <laughs> They said the more the better, so I appreciate it. Um, no, I fly in at one o'clock Friday morning. Oh my gosh! And then I'll be here. So there's something from the staff for each of you, if you'd like to open those, and then there's a, a hanging basket for me also. I hope I get them right. Check real closely to make sure that.